Welcome back everybody. Today I'm building this buffet table for a couple friends of mine. They're going to end up painting and distressing it, but I'm doing the build. This is going to be a three-part video and I'll post links to parts uh, two and three right here. At the end of the video, I'll post links to the other two videos. Next step is to cut the side panels for the cabinet. So just mark your height. What I did was I stacked two sheets of plywood directly on top of each other, making sure they're flush. Mark my height. Set up my straight edge for my circular saw so I can cut both pieces at once. Clamp it down and make my cut. So when I'm building a cabinet, I always dado everything together and I just do that for strength and rigidity. So then the best way I know to do that is to use my router, my track guide. So the bottom dado is going to be three inches from the base. And that's because my one, one by four will come three and a half inches. So there'll be a little lip for the bottom shelf. So I just make my marks with at three inches. Use my straight edge and my left-handed pencil to make a mark, and that's the center of where my three-quarter inch router bit will go. So, make my cuts easy, use the router, it's track, make a straight cut line, and make sure that when you're making YouTube videos, you always use tools that no one else has. That way someone can leave the comment saying that, well, if I had your tools and I can make what you're making, make someone else's day. Last cut I have, this is, these two pieces are the bottom of the cabinet as well as the shelf. To give the shelf a nice front edge, you don't want any, when you paint it, you don't want to see the plywood. Just take a little strip of wood and nail it on there. Alright, 
Next step is put the detail work into the side of the piece and this will go out throughout the doors and the rest of the cabinet and basically what I'm going to be doing is building a, um, a frame around this and then putting an X in the middle. All I did was rip down these boards um, a three quarter inch board on my table saw so I have two thinner pieces and I'm just gonna glue and nail these to the box. Side note, make sure you cut this right piece three quarters of an inch shorter um, and that way when you put your face frame on here it'll seem like one solid piece rather than one solid piece plus three quarters of an inch. Alright, next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the face frame and the reason why I put these on first, uh, the side detail is so that the face frame comes up flush with the edge of the detail and that will bring this strip out to a full two and a half inches just like the strip over here. That's why I ripped this down three quarters of an inch. Pocket hole time. I hate pocket holes for the record, but they work great for face frames. Next part, I'm going to put in these middle styles, and the easiest way to center these is to first find the center between left and right and put your middle post, and then find the center between here and here and put in your middle post, and the same thing on the other side. That way, every single opening is the same exact width. Now that we're done with the face frame, I'm going to let the glue dry, then I'm going to sand it so everything's smooth, and then we'll put it on the cabinet. Now that I made my face frame about an eighth inch wider than the whole box on each side, so a quarter inch total, I'm just gonna use my router to trim everything up smooth. So I waited to put the rails on, the rail details, these are just friction fit in here right now, I'm gonna glue and nail them in. I waited to put them in until I had my face frame on and the reason being is my face frame is made out of 1x4s and all the details out of 1x3 so I wanted at least the bottom rail to line up with the bottom of the face frame. Um, so I'm going to glue and nail both of these sides on and then we'll move over to the front. Last piece of detail before I move on to the doors and the rail system and the top is I'm going to put a little piece of molding at the bottom or baseboard 
And I haven't decided if I'm just going to put a you know square piece on the bottom or if I'm going to put some sort of round over or a router detail on it. Once I get it up here, I'll kind of make up my mind, but it's just going to be a small border. So I did change my mind and I am going to round over the front edge of this trim piece. Just use my router to do that. Now that I have my baseboard run through the router and I have my trim piece, I'm just going to cut the front side um, each at 45 degrees and I always cut the front first because I can leave the sides long and just trim those so those don't have to be precise cuts but the front one does. So I'll just take it over my chop saw, cut a couple 45s and then bring it back over and fit it and make sure it fits alright. Here's a pro tip so you don't actually have to measure your miters. Uh, what I did is on the other end I took a scrap piece and made sure it was square. So on this end I'm just going to push it against the cabinet run a line and that's where I make my cut. I also make a mark so I know which way, which way the 45 is going. The reason why I'm doing this on the cement is because I know this is a completely level surface so I want to make sure my trim lines up evenly.